So, it's been a few days since the latest Nintendo Direct, where we were shown the newest trailer for Splatoon 3. Salmon Run, next wave. Now, from what I've gathered, there seem to be two types of Splatoon fans who emerged from this trailer. Those who were vehemently frothing at the mouth with excitement, and those who tilted their heads in confusion and asked, that's it? Regardless of how the Splatoon 3 announcement resonated with you, I wanted to talk about why the community seems to have such a split opinion on the matter. Firstly, there was no guarantee that Splatoon 3 was even going to make an appearance at this Direct. It had been four months since the return of the Mammalians trailer, and a full year since the official announcement of Splatoon 3. Needless to say, Splatoon fans were anxious for more news. Maybe we can learn more about the dazzling story mode, or see official gameplay footage of Turf War. Many speculated that the devs would use this time to tease a new game mode, or announce the date of the inevitable Splatoon 3 Direct. Well. Early into this Direct, we got confirmation of Sam and Run's return in the new game, which was a surprise and relief for many, as people were worried that it wouldn't be brought over due to our mysterious and goofy new friend, Little Buddy. I mean, it wouldn't make sense to continue fighting the Salmonids if we have a Salmonid friend, right? 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 Sam and Run is a very popular mode in Splatoon 2, a nice cooperative alternative to the regular online battles. Dedicated fans were overjoyed to see their favorite mode return. Two new bosses were introduced, the Flipper Flopper and Fish Sticks, and a third sinister boss, King Salmonid, was briefly teased towards the end. The new mechanic, Egg Throw, was also showcased, a welcome feature that was sure to make gathering golden eggs a much more efficient task. Many of these additions and changes are great to see in Splatoon 3. But that was the thing, Splatoon 3. Now here's where I'm going to add a little more of my own personal opinion. To be completely honest with you, I was confused for half the trailer because I thought New Wave was a surprise DLC for Splatoon 2 to hold us over until Splatoon 3 comes out. Now I'm not the biggest griper on graphics, I mean hello, I'm a Nintendo fan, but this new footage of Splatoon 3 looks near identical to Splatoon 2. I'm sure if you were to show someone who only played Splatoon 2 at launch this trailer, they would have probably thought it was Splatoon 2 gameplay, and it's a bit unfortunate to admit that. Additionally, each trailer for Splatoon 3 up until this point have been, well, for lack of better words, hyped! I mean, I don't know, at least to me, when we got our first glimpse of Splatoon 3, it was very clear that this was very different from this. It's understandable that not every trailer is going to be a banger. But after receiving, at first impression, what seems to be the same game mode with just a few new additions, it's a bit difficult to be overtly hype about something that we've seen for the past five years. And I think people's disappointment is warranted. At the very least, I think we should have gotten more screen time with King Salmon because this ungodly creature was arguably the most intriguing thing about the trailer. Or imagine, okay, they want to showcase Salmon Run, but now Salmon Run has like an endless endurance mode where you try to survive as many waves as possible before you completely wipe out. Like, I would play that to heck and back. Why would I say that? But I mean, hey, at least we got some news this direct, unlike some other games who have been left in the dark for the time being. <coughs> no matter how you felt about this trailer, I think we can all agree that getting something is better than not. But all would do time, I suppose. We still have the aforementioned Splatoon 3 Direct to look forward to, a Splatoon 3 global test fire, and whatever information we may receive about the game at E3 2022. Splatoon's Twitter pages are also always dropping random new information, so there's definitely more substantial information to come. All we gotta do is just be patient.